go. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, not only do we have Anya Vivarelli, which of course you're quite accustomed to, but we have pulled in this other individual. We had to go all the way to Germany. Hello, to everybody. Another person of equal, yes, this gentleman right here, ladies and gentlemen. Tarkon is amazing. I've had a chance to chit chat with this guy. It's my first time meeting him, and I love this dude. So, anyway, of course, three organic nuts today. We found another it's my one. My first time meeting Dan, too, ironically. That's quite yeah. It's funny how that works, right? My yeah, first time yeah. meeting you, your oddly yeah. first time meeting me. It was very I love weird. synchronicity, synchronicity like that. That's awesome. I hate when I've met people, but I didn't know I met them, and then they've already met me, yes. and it's, now it's confusing, and you're like, what the hell happened? Anyway, <laughs> we're talking actually about. Are five uh, five tips to manifesting? I believe, right? Am I? That's the homework assignment. Five. Yes. I mean, so. <laughs> and, and I believe Tarkon, being a very efficient individual, has yes. put together a mighty list. A list that's oh, proud. That's we a, might. I we said. Might go past I said twelve, but I think it's only eleven actually. So I have to disappoint. <laughs> but it's uh, <laughs> like it's been lying to us. They're not even. They're not even that great. But I'll, I'll do five. But I think you should start off on yes. Okay. Do five. Yeah. All right. Oh, so and please. Interrupt whenever you want. Oh, I'm drinking wine. I hope that's okay. Oh, yeah, cares? Well, nice. Well, don't... Hello. Number one. Before you do anything. Of course, you don't need to know what time it is where I'm at drinking beer. But <laughs> in the morning. You guys are in a better place. We're, we're actually all in the same house, different rooms. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering where those noises were coming from. <laughs> you just flushed the toilet. Someone did. <laughs> 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 anyway, Sonia. Right. Okay, so before you do anything, any tip, you've got to clear, I think, the old stuff. So my first manifesting tip would be ho'oponopono to clear oh. any old stuff. Because if you put techniques yeah. over top of stuff you still got brewing, it kind of doesn't really work because you still yeah. default back to your old, usually childhood stuff. So I think number one, to clear old stuff when it comes up, around money, work, relationships, use the whole Pono prayer. You're dissolving the parts of you that created that situation. Tip number one. Tip number two, meditation to calm your thoughts and to let go and to focus on your desires. You mm -hmm. have to learn to get calm mentally first, then emotionally. It has to be, if you're going to do any imaginal scenes, you got to slow this down. You got to go into slow mo. Yeah. So I would say number two, meditation to learn to calm the mind. Number three, it. affirmations. Then when your mind is calm, you can go on to do affirming. Now you're affirming all day, every day anyway, but this is more deliberate affirming. Now affirmations to confirm and affirm your desires and to help you control and harness and move you towards what you want. Now, I think affirming thank you, very simple affirmation, you repeat thank you, thank you, and you get into the feeling of gratitude. So affirmation, using the word thank you, is a simple gratitude. And, and it, I am that, affirmation. And oh, I am. I am sort of the yeah. strongest thing you can say, of course. Exactly. It's, yeah. Yeah, you're, and, and yeah. just that thing like um, Tycon and I were talking briefly before about that whole thing of being dissatisfied. If you're dissatisfied, yeah. that goes out as a projection and gets photocopied, comes back, and you're not going to attract satisfactory or satisfaction in any area if your big projection is dissatisfaction all the time. They don't right. go together as magnets. So yeah. I think practicing the simple words, thank you, repetitively, I use that a lot. I think it's really simple. It, you don't have to go searching for a whole long affirmation. It's short, simple, and sweet. I think it's great. And it's part of the whole Pono Pono prayer. I was just going to say that it is. Oh, it's a powerful yeah. part of that, actually. Yeah. yeah I love Hope ho Pono. Hope, I can't say it, but I love ho it. Pono Pono. <laughs> it just ho rolls ho off the tongue, right? right? Just like. Hope Pono Pono. Hope for short. Hope Pono. Let's just call it Hope Pono. Hope Pono. Hope Pono. Number four, sure, scripting. Scripting is awesome. Scripting is very powerful. I want to stop right here, real quick, because I think it's worth this quick derail. Scripting, I think, and then by the way, I've accidentally manifested all sorts of crazy stuff. Scripting, scripting is fun, but if you don't think out your mm. 
your thing enough. Sometimes I, I feel like scripting. Oftentimes we get a little short sighted and I, I don't yeah. mean this in a negative way. I, I'm saying it's an extremely powerful tool. Yeah. Uh, when you do it, I think it's also very good to, to really try to come at it from a big picture and really try to think of all the things that you really, really desire or really, really want in, in a relationship. Mm -hmm. like, because, um, yeah. I, so you're getting rough draft, rough draft results because you got a rough draft. It's like, yeah, uh, there you go. First yeah, draft, rough draft, rough draft results. Draft, I like that. You're getting rough draft results. Yeah. I like right. that. Yeah. You need to refine it. You need to go and back to it, do it daily. Yeah. yeah. That's right. So, anyways. Well, and right. I think scripting fits in very much with living in the end. Your script is a living in the end technique. Yeah. Yes. Living from what you want, which is. And it's a physical embodiment of that. Yeah. It's not just in your mind, it's not just a thought. There's a physical piece of something that mm. shows this reality that you were talking about. I, I think it's very powerful. Very, I very do powerful. too. And for people that I struggle, don't talk about it early enough. people that struggle with imagining, it's a good stepping stone to imagining because you write your script. I'm happy and grateful mm -hmm. now that you write it in present tense. And then what you can do is you spend 30 minutes writing it the first time you might write your health, your relationships, your money, your work, you write a little bit for each thing. And then what you do is you read it every night before sleep. So then when you go to try and imagine, You've already just read this. Yeah. So it helps you if you're not doing using someone's guided meditation or with imaginal scenes, it helps you because you've got the little nuggets within it of visual scenes or things you want to hear or whatever it is to take you, you pull that into when you shut your eyes and start imagining. So it's so a here, good. Here's an interesting. Yeah, go ahead. Here's a question I, I actually think is an interesting question about that. So visualizing and scripting, do they amount to the same thing? Are they just sort of uh, using different techniques to really do the same thing? In other words, you want to get to a feeling place in both yeah. your visualizations and in your scripting. So yep. maybe some people just find it easier to write something down. Like mm. I said earlier, I'm a kind of a list maker. Yes. I focus better when I'm writing something down than when if I'm just sitting and closing my eyes, I kind of go all over the place. But yeah. Uh, and some people find writing things down, you know, a real pain in the neck. So yeah. what do you is it the same thing or is it just a matter of technique? Or what do you think uh, is one, should they be done together? Uh, should both be done or could you just pick one or the other and say, uh, I just like to script rather than visualize or? I think a lot of people struggle concentrating and yeah. focusing. I hear this yeah. again and again and again. So I think when Wait, you what can. What are we talking about? <laughs> Ah, you're fired. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> you wait. I'm coming. I'm coming into the other room, and I'm going to get was, you in a minute. That's <laughs> yes, already the wrong meeting. No. For God's sakes, <laughs> fired this guy. No, but I think, I think scripting. If you're not a good focuser and your concentration's not good, it's easier to write and follow and read than get your mind to follow an imaginal scene. So mm -hmm. I think scripting is kind of the kindergarten of techniques mm -hmm. i think imagining visualizing specific things because it requires more concentration and more focus is kind of the when you're going you know what's primary school or it's it's a little bit more elementary you're moving into a slightly wow. more difficult i think technique because it requires concentration is it more effective then i said for me yes no. no okay because if i'm walking 3d through an amazing house I want to buy uh -huh. and I can see the wooden floor and I can hear the clicking of my shoes on the wooden floor and I can open yeah. the window and feel the wind on my face. And then I can mm -hmm. jump on the bed and start jumping on the bed. Like I did when I was a kid that has feelings that just rise up easily. If I read a script, I get, Oh, that's nice, but I'm not in it. Yeah, right. In so the, the same way. I add, the caveat I want to add, and I, I agree, I agree, but I, I guess slightly disagree in that I, it's the, to me, it's the act of writing that is the powerful part. Um, yes. Okay, not the rereading it. You are imagining and visualizing, and then you're making it physical. And that, wow. I think, is wow. where it is powerful. Now, I agree. I think writing something and then just reading it ad nauseum, I, I think it's kind of like affirmations. If I've got, yeah. some fear or self-love issue that is within me and it keeps popping up and I keep doing affirmations to try to push it back down. 
yeah. not doing anything. So yeah. I, again, I think there's times where just, yeah, just saying words, it's just like a hocus pocus out like a zab. But no, it doesn't do crap. I mean, come on yeah. now. It's not, that's not how manifesting works. It's not the words. And to Tarkon's point, it's the feelings. It's getting yourself to that mm. place where that feeling must be made manifest as, as Goddard talks about, right? The conscious and the subconscious, the conscious kind of yeah. looks around and goes, Hey, look at all this shiny, shiny, sparkly stuff. Yay. I love it. And I want more of this. <laughs> happy. And That's then the subconscious is like, Oh, okay. You feel happy. Let's make more of this. Yeah. 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 Well, that's definitely for me the case too. If I script, I write something down. I don't necessarily reread it. I think that I get the, if I get the benefit out of it, of the excitement of it and the thing welling up in me, it's almost like getting that release with it, getting that out there. And then sometimes yeah. even if I don't reread it, I can revisit that more easily in my mind just from having written it down initially. And that's, that's how yeah. it is with me. And I think it's just like I've said before, um, and, and Anya, this is to your point. I mean, it works, works really well for you visualizing. Some people you know, maybe aren't as gifted at it or that's need true. a nudge or help to get. Yep to that visual like if they sit, they sit there and just think like oh, i'm trying to imagine it doesn't work but if you say yeah. hey all right do me a favor i want you to write a creative story about you meeting your person yep. right then yep. they'll be like okay and right and they'll go off and that's they can do that no problem exactly so like, but you just did what i asked you to do yeah but you asked differently this time exactly and so yeah if it it's works different. for you yeah it. different for it different works do it and if it ever stops else. working get rid of it immediately yeah uh, and you yeah. don't, don't you know i get people going to me i've been doing this every day and visualizing and doing this for hours or 30 minutes and it's not getting me anywhere it's like well how do you feel when you do it are you feeling frustrated are you getting up like you're treating it like you got to go to work or you got to do yeah. the dishes that's not going to be effective just stop you give yourself permission to stop at that point because mm. um it's, it's only gonna i think it's gonna backfire really in the end well it doesn't and it does doesn't, it depends i, I think it depends on how you're coming in, in. yeah 100 right so again, although yeah. i like that Oh, sorry. I was just going to say, I think it's how you come at it, right? Like, I think it's yeah. the, um, your, your energy while you're trying to manifest this or create this. Like, if you're coming at it from a very frustrated, desperate, like Anya and I for sure have talked a lot about self-love. And I mean, obviously it's key. When you're coming at it from this needy, sort of bad place, mm. it's not going to manifest like you want it to. When yeah. you're coming at it from a, God, I just love thinking about him. I just love yes. knowing it. Right. It feels yeah, good. It feels relaxing. It's such a relaxing. different vibe. It's not, I don't yeah. know if it's the energy you're sending out. I don't know, you know, like some people may not like it when I talk about that crap, but it's like, you're in a better place, man, no matter what. So yeah. that right. feeling tends to manifest a better reality for you. Mm. That's the point. That's the whole Whatever point. Yeah. 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 Although I like that house that you described. I guess I want to, I want to say that. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's getting yeah, those it's details of, um, yeah. Just those little yeah. details, the sun on your face, the wind in your hair, yeah. the creak of the window as you, you know, put that's it right. out or the click, click of the heels. Cause I think, you know, so often you've got floorboards, that's what you hear. So it's inserting right. those other senses, not just the visual, the audio, the smell of the wood, the, right. you know, the smell of the fireplace, the, you yeah. know, the, the burnt uh, bits of wood that never finished burning, all those things, depending on what means something to you, you add in those really kind of quirky detail. I think the quirky, the detail that means something to you, then that's when it comes more alive for you. I'm seeing right. a, a like a pot of stew on the stove. Yes, kind of simmering away. Yes. that's Not right. Like walk into the house. Doesn't that sound yeah. so wonderful? <sighs> There's a what's for dinner, honey? Yeah. There's a dwarf in the corner wearing a dress. No, you have dwarfs. <laughs> There's dwarfs all yes. over my video. Oh my god! Yeah, they dwarfs about. I can't get rid about. of them. Oh they eat all my yeah. food. You know they they yeah. They what? make a mess. At least seven of them always. <laughs> oh my. Makes me feel Sorry. weird. Sorry, kinda. Too. Yeah. <laughs> Uh -oh. Okay, so we're, we're gonna get in trouble. We're gonna get in trouble for this. Hopefully, that's the plan. <laughs> <Hopefully>. <laughs> well, I, I don't care anymore. I'm getting started here. <laughs> Let's make a night of it. Come on, that's, that's a beautiful wine glass, too. And anyways, oh, anyways, thank no. you. Yes, you can tell he's in Europe. The yes. Europe, <laughs> the Europe just like, yeah, they got wow. children. He's got children in the backyard drinking <laughs> wine right now, like here in the States. You're like, well, what? You know, no, I, I didn't want him to make it's grape noise, juice, so. it's grape juice, people. <laughs> <laughs> that's grape right. Juice. It's just um, grape juice. No. Okay, number five, which <laughs> number five. is the wow. final tip, imagining. Mm. So to draw forth wanted things, it's a focus-based universe. So if you are focused in imagination, you know, you just imagine 
And like you said, Dan, you imagine to evoke living from it, which comes from Neville. You're not thinking I'm here. The thing I want's over there. You live from it by activating first the imaginal scene, then it brings up and rises up the feeling like just talking about the house you know, if you're walking through a 3D house that you really want, I mean, it's so easy to connect with the feeling. You don't have to say, oh, I'm going to think these thoughts and then I'm going to get a feeling. Right. The feeling's right. instantaneous. Yeah. Right, right. So you don't have to struggle for it. No. The thought. It should come to you naturally. It should be uh, organic. Yeah. 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 Or, well, I, or, it, or it can build, I guess. Like, I don't know. I'm thinking like that. one of the scenes I've had fun with is, is my, like my dream house. And like I've, I've, I kind of start from the master bedroom oddly. And so I've got like it mapped out. I know where the walk-in closet is. I know where the sh right? Like I've got the room, maybe the little reading area possibly. And then out of the door, I've managed to get down the hallway or it's actually not really a hall. It's kind of an open anyway. Right. But it's like, as you start building that vision, sometimes it kind of takes on a life of its own. Yep. Too. Mm -hmm. and, and in the case of maybe something that you don't have to find yet, there's, if it's a specific person, yes, it's obviously very easy. If it's a house you've walked into, yes, it's very easy to 3D imagine it. If mm. it's imagining your dream, yeah, sometimes it's fun to start building it room by room or piece by piece yes. or from, uh, from the point of the vantage point that you want to start at. Like could be the front mm. door, could be the garage. I don't know. So maybe you come, up with, uh, you come up with things that you don't even realize you wanted in there Yeah, uh, through yeah. the process of doing this. Walk through it know? again one day after you're like, yeah, I've been through this made up room 15 times, right. but all of a sudden there's different furniture this time and I like it's it. Right? Like, yeah, I'm there with you. There so true. much of this too that I like to stress is this, it's, it's gaining clarity. A lot of these exercises and techniques do. Because I find a lot of people come and I want this. I want my guy back. I want my gal back. It's like, well, have you thought about what exactly that looks like? What is it you want exactly? Do you want a text message from them? Do you want the, their attention, their undivided, you know, their undying love and devotion? What does that look like? What is that day-to-day? Mm. -day, what does that really look like? I mean, no That's relationship is like fun. that, right? Yeah. Do you want to be married? What kind of house do you want to live in? What are you guys going to do every day? I mean, people don't think enough about this stuff. They just kind of go, oh, all I know is I want something that I don't have right now. <laughs> Whatever that thing is, I need it to come in and fill this hole that I, I see, void. you know. Yeah. yeah, this void I seem to be feeling. So clarity and detail are, mm. and I think, you know, visualizing the way you described on yes is very important for maybe even gaining clarity in that sense, you know, yeah. fill in the details. Yeah. yeah. I like that. Yeah. I remember I did, like I was doing this house one and I, I remember this, um, the bathroom and the bath was in the middle of the room because I thought, being a female, it's so annoying trying to clean behind the bath if it's a freestanding <laughs> one. You know, like it's uh, really yeah, annoying. Yeah, so I thought, yeah. I want this thing away from the wall. It's in the middle of the room and the bottom of the yes. bath looks out these bifold doors. You pull them open and there's some Australian eucalyptus trees, you know, with a little koala hanging in there or something. But I remember <laughs> opening these. <laughs> Probably a deadly, a deadly spider or something. Right deadly next spider. Or giant, something. One of those giant, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Two seconds. <laughs> and you're I'm looking at you, the bar, you. Totally vulnerable. Yeah. So that's really a thing, isn't it? I'm, I, yeah. I, I'm staying in my mom's house right now. She always complains she doesn't have a hanging toilet. And she can't clean under the toilet. Yeah, she had a annoying. hanging toilet. She could clean under. Yeah, it's <laughs> annoying. Uh, it's annoying. So I was uh -huh. thinking the freestanding bath. And I'm then, you know, I remember just standing when I first started doing this visualization, I'd stand at the bathroom door and I would scan around the room like that. Panoramic view. Yeah. So I was standing there and I saw the, the sink, I saw the toilet and then there was the big bifold doors. And what I would do is I would slide into the bath and I'd feel the really warm summer, summer evening wind coming in. And then it just, all of a sudden, there was one of those things that hangs across the bath. It just appeared. I didn't visualize it. It was like, oh, it'd be nice to have a glass of wine while I'm in the bath but I need to put it uh -huh. somewhere. So it's like this wooden thing appeared. I had my soap, I had my glass of wine and I had, you know, my little shortbread biscuits. And I thought, mm, that just appeared, That's you know, like, I don't know why it was shortbread. It's not even something that I eat that often, but it was just, that was what showed up. So your detail was- in the background. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm there. It yeah, shows love it. up. It yeah. fills in. Yeah. Filling in the grid. That's what Abraham talks well, about. Well, it's like, it's yeah. in a lot of cases, like for a room, like sometimes it's just, it may not be used daily, but it's got those special occasions, those special moments. And that's what that's for. Right. And right. so, yeah, yeah, seeing that, that unique time and really uh, explore. I love that. I, 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 again, I think that's one of the most important things is 
not just imagining it and all that, but sometimes it's the evolution of the imagination or the imaginary yep. theme. It's, right. That brings about like an emotional response sometimes that is just like, wow, I don't know where that came from. Didn't mm. know why I hadn't thought of that yet, but yeah. Yeah. so glad I did. There's just uh, hyperlinks. It's like a holodeck. You know, I just kind of go, computer, I need somewhere to put my biscuits, and boom, it pops Love up, it. right? So the computer <laughs> takes care of it for you. It's, it's already, like, all right, what's it's already out there? Wine. And it's like, everything you need is already, already out there. The wine, yeah. Right. Yeah, it's everything awesome. you want to need is already there. You just need to think of it. You just yeah. need to bring it in. Yeah, there it is. Right. Fantastic. Every possibility yeah. exists. All right. Exactly. It does. And that's the thing. I, you know what? And the fact that you said that, I don't know if that's on your list, but uh, I'm just no, no. Mine right now. <laughs> but every possibility exists. And I think that's the yeah. thing that a lot of people don't understand about manifesting. They get hung up right. on uh, little details that exist maybe in your current world. Mm -hmm. But you're manifesting a reality that's different than your current world. So that's focusing right. on what's currently happening isn't what you're trying to change. Right, it doesn't no. work. So, well, you're, you're where you're trying to go. That possibility exists that's right. somewhere. That's Sorry. right. And people think they're stuck. Well, no, I interrupted, but they think they're stuck. And what's happening is they're actually manifesting the same reality over and over and over again. Mm. It's, it feels like a loop, but really, it's like no, you just you can stop that. Mm. You can actually put an end to that. It's this is a different reality than that. It feels like the same thing. Maybe the same thing happened as yesterday, today, but uh, you can put an end to that. That's not the same manifestation over and over. It's actually. Yeah, different manifestations of the same thing. So yes. No, okay. I like the right. that your tomorrow's made up of what you're thinking about right now. I mean, that's yes. so. Yeah. If you want to change tomorrow, then think of something different right now, and and that's right. be amazed. Watch what happens. I dare you. Mm. Like that's why I, I love saying to people, it's like prove me wrong. Like yeah. think about something specific. Do something mundane. Let's start easy. Come on now, for those naysayers out there. But it's like try it. Like you'd be surprised if you start focusing on a certain thing. And then see what happens over the next day or two. That thing will show up in your life in some weird way. It'll, it'll trip yeah. you out. It's I was actually, I, I did the quarter experiment. I talked about that in a video recently. I don't know if you heard about it. You just imagine holding a quarter every day for a couple of minutes. And you start finding quarters everywhere. Quarters appear on television. People talk about quarters. And, you know, um, I was saying to, quarter the video, time. to those of you who don't live in the States, you maybe don't even know what a quarter looks like, uh, you know, United States quarter dollar. And there was a woman, I think, in Belgium or somewhere said, I actually did this. <laughs> I just looked at a picture of a quarter and uh, my cousin or my daughter brought me a whole bunch of U.S. quarters uh, that she got somewhere. So it wow. works. Yeah, it absolutely works. Yeah, they're no matter where you are. Worthless <laughs> in other parts of the world, they're like, I, what do I want with this stupid thing? Like, <laughs> yeah, there's, where's the laundry machine? Across the water. <laughs> it's like a stone. They're fun. <laughs> They're practically worthless in the United States, except for doing laundry. Yeah. Yeah, laundry. Yeah. Yeah. Our poor monetary Bring system. a sack of them to the bank. They love yeah, right? it. Hey, <laughs> can I get a pack of gum? Right? Like, <laughs> can I get a hundred for this? Yeah, yeah please. <laughs> Hell no, I'm not rolling them. No, you roll them. You got <laughs> yeah, why am I supposed to? Yes. I mean, roll. Yeah, I'm not doing that part. No. Roll them across the counter if you want. Anyway. <laughs> So that's right. it. Mine are done. I love it. Okay. You love it. Oh, it's my turn. It's my turn. I would my say it's your turn. Yeah, I've maybe got it's one or my two. Presentation. <laughs> you got well, a list you know what? I, I have 11, but that's, this is really just a list of me uh, brainstorming. But um, I, you know, on the top of my list right now is I'm looking at segment intending. Now, this is, a, this is an Abraham Hicks technique. Yeah. Basically, what it comes down to is you divide your day up into segments, right? There's your work segment. There's your going to sleep segment. There's your breakfast segment. And for each of those segments of your day, of your experience, you intend something. You, mm. you, you basically are just, you know, I, I, uh, I'm going to use an example. Actually, there's a funny story attached to this, a personal story, because I started practicing this just when I was going out at night or when I was getting up in the morning, like I said. But I went out for a couple of beers with a friend. This is about maybe a year and a half ago. And um, before I left, I said, you know, I'd like to. My intention tonight is to meet a nice young woman. You know, I want to, I want to get a date. I want to, I want to be on a date with a nice, beautiful young woman. And I went and met up, uh, met up with my friend and he introduced his new girlfriend to me. And, uh, he kind of motioned to me like behind me and I look and there's a, there's a girl standing there <laughs> all dressed up to the nines like this all expectantly. And I, and I introduced myself and she sat down and we had a nice conversation and we ended up going somewhere else together. And, uh, somewhere in the middle of the night, she kept looking at her phone and she was looking at me and she kept looking at her phone and she said, this is not, you're not the right date. You're not the right guy. 
And, uh, you know, I was kind of talking and I kept hearing her say this. And so I, the first few times she said it, it's kind of rolled over my head. And then suddenly I said, wait a minute, are you, what do you say? And she said, this is the wrong day or this is the wrong, this is not right. You look just like him. You look just like him. And I said, are you trying to tell me that you were me meeting a Tinder date tonight? And you thought I was him. And she said, yes, you look exactly like him. And he's texting me right now. <laughs> and you know, How did you guess Tinder him? out of all things? That's because awesome. Because that's, that's a thing where I live. I mean, it's, it's just, and you know, I, I go to this watering hole a couple times a week. I always see people waiting for their Tinder dates over there. It's apparently actually fun to watch. Found on Tinder. <laughs> only found on Tinder, apparently. But uh, yeah. We left or right. I forget which one's the right way. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I forgot. You know, people are just going to do this to their forehead. You yeah, know, right. Their forehead yeah. Like, <laughs> why can't I? Why Hi, can't I make you, you <laughs> smaller? Why? Not this one. No. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, you know, somewhere in the end, end of the middle of the night, she said, you know, you ended up being the right date after all. And we ended up seeing each other for a few months after that. But that's right. the point I'm telling that story. And it's a funny story. But that was the result of a segment intention, right? So that was just, I just set that intention for the evening. I want the evening to go this way. I want to have this experience tonight. Today at work, I want to have this experience. Today at work, I want to have, you know, and, and so as you do that, I think it's a great way to kind of build up your manifesting muscle and to, um, to sort of practice focusing on the moment too. I think it's actually a great exercise. So I've used it to quite a bit of success there, as you can tell from that story. So I think that's a great one. I, one of my favorite things about that particular technique, without a doubt, and, and I'm going to use this in relation to manifesting a specific person because you and I get, we yeah. all get those questions so often, but yeah. this keeping that in mind, yes, you maybe have a specific someone in mind. What you're talking about is like throwing a, Hey, let's have something interesting happen today. Hey, let's have something cool. Show me today. Like yes. you're, you're getting yourself in the moment and you can still have these things apply towards your ultimate manifestation. Like, Hey, show me something cool today. That's going to, you know, that's showing me I'm on my way maybe or whatever. Right. Like, it, well, I think it will automatically lead you on yeah. your way because you're following your highest excitement. Exactly. This is a, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Bashar. That's what he always says. Yeah, right? Bashar is pretty cool. I like that. Guy. If you follow your highest excitement, you just keep doing that in every moment it will actually lead you on your path mm. towards whatever it is that you want. It just automatically, that is your path. Your path yeah. is simply that. The thing I like about Bashar is he so reminds me of Abraham Hicks. Like they're very similar personality types. It's yeah. kind of funny. It's, um, so I kind of feel like those two people are talking to this same group or whatever. I don't know. Oh, I'm sure it's the same. <laughs> well, it's yeah. all us, isn't it? That's the idea. Well, there you right? go. It's all the well, same. Know, yeah, some people <laughs> call us pushed out, but either way. Yes. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right nice nice that was so I like that segment one. intention that's good stuff so yeah, segment intention. work on a segment of your day you're saying and then throw some mojo on it and um yeah, and watch, watch it happen stand back absolutely and each what segment else? you can divide your day up like that it's a perfect way you get into a real nice flow situation that way um i, I you know i was thinking a lot about abraham because these are techniques i've used and i was telling oddness before you came on that i'm kind of beyond techniques right now you know i'm not i'm not really these are things i've used in the past to great success but i don't really focus that much on techniques anymore so i had to sort of brainstorm which is probably why i have 11 items on here but uh um focus Way wheel more prepared than yeah, either of us I know. <laughs> i'm german i can't help so focus <laughs> wheel focus wheel is another abraham technique you guys have probably worked to use yeah, but i use focus those. lists i don't like the wheel but you know the idea is to kind of place what you state what you want at the top and then look for the evidence of that um, as you kind of work your way down the list you kind of go well they're not contacting me we haven't spoken in many months i would like there to be more contacts you know uh, more text messages from them and then you look for evidence that this is kind of well you know what it's happened before so it could happen again yada yada you kind of list the next thing right which could be like well i did um you know uh, they liked something I posted on Facebook, so that's a good thing. You think of all the all the signs that could support that idea, and as you list more and more, it kind of gets the dominoes going, um, and you find that you have more reasons to actually believe that something is possible than you have reasons to believe that it's not possible. I think that's the major point of that exercise. Um, I've used that to great success in terms of just really raising my my uh, my vibration. Uh, some people, how dare you? Um, in your energy? Because yes. they don't my like it. I'm sorry. That's right. Sorry. I'm sorry. Energy. Let's use it. Vibrations. Energy. I got the Beach Boys song stuck in my head. Right <laughs> yeah. 
but you know the idea is to really raise your your well your emotional state right to get um, you to feel better yes. towards this thing like a gratitude or whatever it really is enough it really is enough so so often it's it's it is enough there's really no need to do um you know oodles of things and all these techniques like I said, affirmations, I always tell people this, they're just there for your purposes. They don't make something happen on their own. They're not like magic words that you say and then boom, right? Uh, or like a long way, people think, well, I've done these affirmations and nothing's happened. Well, what are you feeling when you're saying them? <laughs> you know, um, are you understanding that it's just for you, in order to get you up to a level of, of, of um, believing, of being, well, of raising your vibration. Yeah, I'm gonna say it again. <laughs> I heard it. I heard it a second time. That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. All right. So we so, so we got folks wheel. I like that one. Or yeah. we're running well, up to it. Let's make a list because the wheel. I, I I can't write that. Small no, I got you. Wheel, Makes so. sense. That's a yeah. You so do like uh, a collage too. Here. Those kind of work. Like it just depends how you. But it's the idea of putting a, a place where you can focus on all the stuff, right? Yeah, it works. Speaking of lists being specific and making specific lists. I think that's a, that's a brilliant technique. That's one I like to do. I like to make lists, nice. but we talked about this earlier. So many people don't have any idea of what they really want. And I tell people this a lot. You're coming, uh, you're coming with questions about this and that, but what is it you really want? Have you really thought about what, what you want? Have you really imagined what it'd be like if you got the thing that you wanted? If, what if they suddenly texted you today? How would you react? Uh, what would you say? You know, have you, have you, and is that going to be enough? So you have a text conversation for an hour and then what happens? Maybe a week goes by, a month goes by, and then what? You have another one, they text you again. Um, what's your ultimate goal here? But oh, what it really comes down to, I, though. Well, I was going to oh. say, I think a lot of people end up being a little short-sighted. And I, to your yes. point, I completely agree. I, I, I think it helps a lot to have a little more depth in what you are trying to manifest. Unless literally you're just trying to manifest a text message from someone. Otherwise, let's try to get further past the... The communication. Well, instant gratification is yes. what it is. Yes. It's that fix. So you want the fix right now, yeah. but you're going to want another fix. You're going to want mm -hmm. another hit right. down the road. Yeah. So what's the ultimate vision that you're after? What is it really about? How do you want to feel? And that's what it comes down to. So I think clarity. And, and it's realistic, I guess, right? If I constantly want, maybe I'm, I'm someone and I want this person I'm interested in. I want them to constantly reaffirm that happy button for me right like yes how, it's their job if, it's their if, job to make yeah and is that yeah. legitimate because if that's really what you're trying to manifest you, it's, yeah. pro it's probably not going to work out well or i no. guarantee it's not going to be a healthy relationship i mean i can it's almost not going to be healthy you'll, yeah. you'll you'll both be miserable in it i yeah. I, I anticipate and you, you might know, find someone that... to be miserable with you i'm I, i'm not saying you can't <laughs> manifest that but i'm saying is that yeah. really yeah is that really yeah. the best for both parties if you will. no absolutely not no, your happiness is always first and foremost your responsibility. You know, Tarkon, that's what I think too. Your happiness yeah. is what I was yes. after. Well, no, 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 I was actually saying, well, was I, wait, wait a minute. Okay. All right. Pointing out to <laughs> I'm loving this. I haven't heard from Anya's in a while. Is she still there? No, she's like, I don't know. I'm no. like, is this thing on? Is that <laughs> like, oh, I hear her laughing. Okay. I'm listening. What, how many was that? How many was that? That was three? three. You're on three. Three. Thank God. Okay. I got two more. No, that I'm counting. <laughs> I'm not yet. You're counting. Oh, for money. Now this is an interesting oh, one. People right. sometimes ask me about money because I guess some people do care still about money more than they do <laughs> about love. <laughs> not many. So, oh, every now and then, someone's like, "Could you do a video about money?" I'm like, yeah, well, we'll like, see. Like one <laughs> out of a thousand people that actually ask that question. Maybe if you uh, send me a check. Here's my PayPal yeah. address. Yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll tell you um, how to manifest money. This send is me how you manifest money. <laughs> okay, manifest well, money. There's a thing about objects. There's a thing about people. You know, it's all part of the same energy system, right? And I actually subscribe to the idea that, that, you know, the book, the bottle, the desk, me, you, we all are part of the same conscious energy. Now, the book and the desk and whatever doesn't have the reasoning ability that we do because we have these meat computers, right? Mm. But ultimately, though, there is a conscious awareness even within objects. So money, I mean, printed money is it's an object, right? There's a way that you should treat money if you want more of it, right? You've got to be nice to it. You've got to do, I mean, this is something I read in a book. I can't remember the book now. And I'm always talking about books that I forgot the titles to. It's terrible. But, you know, you, you, you want to, uh, you know, you want to take your money. You want to fold it nicely. You want to get a nice wallet mm. for it. You want, to, you want to give it a nice, warm, safe place to live in your house. And here's what's going to happen. It's going to feel welcomed. Um, in your presence, it's going to keep wanting to come into your 
environment and into your life and into your possession. So, you know, people, I hate money or they crumple it up in their pockets. Mm. They have a, their finances are a mess too, right? Um, yeah. Their bills are a mess. They're in debt. And they, they see money and dealing with money as this constant battle, right? Just like with relationships too, you know? Um, it's a battle. I must manifest them back. And they treat it like it's a campaign. Like it's, uh, you know, and they do uh, that, but you know what? And, and they look at it. There's, there's wars where I'm going to, I'm at war with love right now. Yes. And it's like, like, and they keep manifesting little weird battles. Like ah, I won this one today and oh, she didn't like me today. It was like, yeah. Dude, well, like, I want, be crazy. I want like, her to contact me first. I'm not yeah, going to text uh, That's like, you know, some I of get that, that one a lot. Yeah, yeah. I get a lot of that. Yeah. But you know, yeah. but that's, but that's, it's the mentality and the idea behind it. So if you really want more money to flow and more flow more easily into your life, that's an, interesting way to look at things and that's an interesting way to treat anything really um that you value you know if you if you want to manifest a new car start by taking care of the one you have start by appreciating the one you have by loving mm. what you have by by seeing the value in what you have now and of course that speaks to gratitude right so i agree yeah um absolutely. that's great I like that so one. that's that's a way to think about money i wouldn't call it a technique i suppose it is sort of a technique but uh, well it's a technique i think that you can apply not just to money but to anything and it is that appreciation and i think sometimes yes. we'll even go back to the specific person thing even though money is we've you've covered it well but yeah. sometimes we come at it we're like frustrated with them maybe we want them to feel the pain that we feel maybe right like there's a lot of yes. weird kind of thoughts and i don't mean weird yeah. isn't wrong i just mean like if you think about what love would do, like that's not it. Love wouldn't do that. Love's not no. trying to like make sure you feel pain too. That's yeah. no. And when we come at things from that, we're not really coming at it like the, from the gratitude or loving the money or respecting this relationship, like really loving yes. what it is that you're after. You're angry with it. And you're angry, it. you're worried about it. You're scared yeah, and that's, you can't do that. Yeah. You've got to have that more accepting, loving, attractive kind of feeling about it. And, and things I have repelled not, money. open up a lot more. I've repelled money in my life just because I have fear of it. And I grew up with that fear of it. I was mm. raised around people who actually were not that badly off, but they, in their childhood, had been badly off. So they brought this fear of money into my experience being mm. a child. And I would have money and I would spend it frivolously. And it's almost the psychology behind that is I'm so scared of it that I'm actually getting rid of it as quickly yeah. as possible. Right. Yeah, get this right. away from it's like yeah, a hot get it potato. away from me because it's not right. going to cause problems, yeah. right? Like <laughs> that's right. So it's the fear of it too, you know. Yeah. Um, so yes, that's a powerful, different way to start looking at things like money, or you can apply that to anything, anything yeah, that absolutely. you desire. Really, you absolutely. want to manifest. So I think that's five. Is that five? I, uh, I lost count. Because yeah, I, I know, I know, we're running up against a, a, a hard time here. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna throw out one. You touched okay. upon it actually, and it was funny because you actually said it. And I've got it written like right here. It's in stars around it. Um, awesome. And I, I wasn't meaning to point with the middle finger like I just did. That's so rude, right? I should never do that. That means hello around here. Yeah, it does. Oh no, yeah, no, yeah, no. It's like we're just um, waving it. It's funny. I had German soccer players stay at my house when I was very young, and I learned how to. I know how to say the F word in German. Oh, I know yes. how to say it. It's all so awesome. You just have to. Love it. Yeah. You got to know. You haven't learned how to say those words. What's the point of learning the language? Come on. That's right, David. What do you want? That is one of the yeah. key questions. Like if I was to give anyone, like set them down and say, all right, you want some guidance on manifesting? Yeah. This sounds crazy, but a lot of people really don't realize what it is that they actually want. They have no idea. Uh, no. And sometimes no. it's like, oh, I want to be with Brad. What is it about Brad that you want? I don't know. He won't yes. pay attention to me. Like, right. Like yeah. what is it? Because yeah. the guy doesn't give me the time of day. I don't know what it, right. Like he's cute or he posted some, I don't know. So again, understanding yeah. why we're pursuing what we're pursuing, what we actually want in life, trying to understand what really makes us tick yeah. is going to make you a far more powerful manifester because you're going to focus on things that are going in the direction that your life is going. And yes. when you do that, when you're not constantly fighting the flow, I think yeah. Higgs talks a lot about going with the flow and the vortex. Going downstream, downstream. Yeah. Yeah. Constantly trying to go upstream with everything. It's exhausting. Yeah. Yeah. And when you finally let go of all that and finally just start giving into the fact that, yeah, I'm going to get what I want instead of trying to. Mm. So that for me is yeah. the big key is really. And I, by the way, is probably the one I'm weak, most weak on myself mm. is trying to really know what what do i want like what do i really want in life like i i love doing things but it's like you know what what 
really makes me tick? What can I make an income off? What can I, right? Like it, it's, it's a deeper question that I, I think a lot of us don't spend enough time thinking about. So that's, well, that's, and you're right about that. And I think people though tend to bring it. The big clue is, uh, you know, tell me three things you love about Brad right now. Boom, go. And it's either, uh, I don't know. It's with Angelique <laughs> Jolie. can't even tell me one yeah, thing, yeah. right? Yes. He's got it. Uh, uh, we're, we're talking about Pitt. Dreamy. He's got Pitt. the dreaminess. Yeah. yeah he's but, so you dreamy. know, they don't oh know. They don't know or they'll, they'll go, well, he makes me feel this way. He makes me feel that way. And there's your clue right there. Aha. Anything that you want, you want it only because of how you anticipate you're going mm. to feel when you have it. Yep. And yeah. that's, your, that's the root of where you need to get at, to get clarity. How do you want to feel in any of these situations? Yeah. And how can so, you feel that way now? Right. So hopefully we gave everyone a really awesome set awesome. of tidbits and facts to go um, by. Right? I've got another 10 minutes. I know. I've just extended oh. another 10 minutes. So if you oh, want okay. to do, we don't want it. Yeah, nice. go ahead. Keep going. Nice. I was, uh, wasn't I'll do this to, when I, I got to go. to wind this whole thing down. Now all of a sudden, you just, we're just saying we were saying goodbye. Now we got to go another ten minutes. You got to. Like, I just sent up. a I sent a quick email because I thought, look, we need to have another ten minutes. Like so the, the only other one. Going. Okay, so I've got one other one that I'll, I'll bring up, and we'll uh, we'll see what we can uh, what we can dig out of this guy. But, they were really good. All right. They were yeah, really yeah. Good. awesome. Uh, one that I think is the also is, key, is is a key one for I think people to pay attention to as far as best practices or good tips to manifesting is actually paying attention to the things that scare us. Uh, I've done a couple shows on this recently too. And it's just fear generally shows things that we either need to do or things that there are, are sort of closed off inside of ourselves. Like fear is an indicator of something that needs a little self love in us or just attention period. So again, it's one of those things that I actually think if you're feeling that little bit of trepidation or a little bit of, 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 um, Oh, I don't want to do that. That's probably a, a, a spotlight or a marker of something that really you need to do. You need to face, you yes. need to figure out, you need mm. to come to terms with that. And you will be amazed at what's on the other side of that door. And I think that's uh, another. Oh, I love that. I actually love that. I think it's, 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 mm. it's like saying push your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. which is so important. And I think the whole purpose of us being here and doing this whole charade of living in these meat suits is uh, and going through these dramas is to expand. I think that's something Abraham says too. Expansion is the whole point of it because we're mm -hmm. part of an expanding universe. We are a part of it. We're actually it as well. Mm -hmm. So we are expanding. And the only way you can do that is to push yourself past those fears uh, mm -hmm. and push your comfort zones. And when you do, you're right. So th the moment you do, boom, everything can shift almost immediately and you, you'd be just bowled over by how quickly and how, how much, how, well, how deeply. Often, too, do you see someone that's trying so desperately to keep some manifestation from the past alive? Yeah. Like yeah. I'm trying to make that happen again. And it's like, but you can't, you can do no. a today's version of it maybe, mm. yeah. but you can't yeah. make yesterday happen again. You that can't. relationship is gone. It's going to be a new relationship. Yep. That's going to yeah. be a brand new relationship. And that's good. Thank God. Who wants yeah, that old one? Is. It would be so boring. It was garbage. Yeah. Or it was a bad relationship. It, why did it end to begin with? Something was wrong right. with it. So right. why do you want to go through that again? <laughs> you know, um, I, another thing about fear, uh, this is an interesting twist sometimes that I you. find. Is, I know. I love hearing it. Like it's like watching. I know. It's like watching a good... <laughs> TV show, listening to you guys. <laughs> I'll back. Like, I love it. I love it. No commercials, not yet. No, no commercials. commercials. <laughs> That's awesome. But you know, so many people are afraid of their of their desire too, or afraid of what they want. Guilty of it, even sometimes. Yes. Oh, yeah. uh, yes. Absolutely. Same here. And you know, the resistance in a weird psychological twisty kind of way. Sometimes that's, they put that there because they are kind of afraid of what would happen if I actually got what I wanted. Oh my God. Yeah. Well, oh, or, it's, or it's easier to be the victim, if you will, too, right? How many people pull off that kind of victim mentality? So they always keep manifesting people that take advantage of them or keep mm, these differences. Yes. Like, but you have to be the victim. You constantly talk about how you are. As, so well, it has to keep manifesting. Otherwise, it feels easier. They claim. Yeah. Yeah, and that's true it's too. Not, it, it's not easier, but it feels easier. Then, then it doesn't seem like it's my fault, but it's like, yeah, yeah but it, it still is. Sorry. I hate to when I first learned about this stuff and really made, you know, did the work on myself or sat down to do the work on myself, what, you know, it was both liberating and terrifying at the same time because I realized I've been running on this program my whole life. Of, I can blame my parents, my upbringing, my circumstances, yada, yada. That thing that happened to me when I was seven, 
you know, that thing that happened to me when I was 16. And it was, it was a nice, comfortable little bubble that I was able to operate in. But now I came to the understanding of, oh, I really do manifest it all. I really do create my own reality. Wow, that's amazing. But, oh, that scares the bejesus out of me, you know? Yeah. 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 Well, I think, right? I think they call that being red-pilled, right? I mean, that's pretty that's much... It. That's Once it. it happens, you can't, you can't oh, go no back way out. to the, being asleep. It's like, nope. damn, no, I get it. Like, oh, oh there's well. the rabbit. There's the cat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it is, it's a little, it's a little bit annoying at first, but then once you realize how many things you've been told throughout your life that aren't really true, like in the sense of like the way, the way marketing is done, like it, they tell you right. what you need, and it's like, no, no, I decide what I need. Mm. Yeah, that's how did you? Yes. Not you telling me what I need. That is yeah. not how this works. I know that's how you want it to work, but no. Right, but it's it not. does work, right? It works on us. It, With it's the so people, it totally does. It's. Yeah. I'll tell you this. I don't know if you've ever seen. Oh, yeah, SpongeBob. Yeah. I don't know if you've ever seen the show. I've, I've think I've watched one a or two of times. times. Yeah. yeah. Sit, sit a child down in front of that show. I swear to God, sit a child down with that on the TV and watch how they instantly just go. Oh, man. It, right. it is the weirdest thing, dude. It tripped me out the first couple times I saw it. I'm like, oh, my God. I've, I, ah. yeah. And they do. They just, their body language just melts. It's their shoulders. Like, it's That's crazy. So weird. So yeah, I need to try that out. Here, get me a child. Yeah. <laughs> get me a child now. <laughs> Sorry, that's Mark. Mark's. Mark's brother's mm -hmm. joke. What did he say? Uh, why a, f a child of five could understand this? Quick, fetch me a child of yeah. five. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. That's, that's awesome. Old Groucho Marx joke. Yeah. Well, there we go. We got. We end with a little bit of comedy, a little levity. All that's right, awesome. I love it. Organic nuts will roll. Tarkon, dude, it's been yes. really, really nice getting to know Absolutely. you and Anya. We got to do this again. Chatty. Yeah. So chatty on you. So I can't keep her quiet. I know. What's going on? She's you not. You guys she, are like bookends. <laughs> it's fabulous. <laughs> She's falling asleep over there. <laughs> She's the namesake. I love it. It's like, yes, thank you, Anya's, for allowing us to be on your platform. <laughs> <laughs> Did she have some of that special toast with the. Uh... <laughs> we should have. <laughs> well, thank you, everyone, for joining us. Uh, hopefully. Uh, you guys enjoyed us bouncing around uh, on our topics. Uh, we certainly had a good time doing it. That's for sure. I had a, I had a blast. Yeah, good, yes. good. I like the topic. I like, you know, it's really interesting doing this with you two because you think, oh, I can't think of any more than this because you, you're so used to doing the ones and the things that you do. But just look, hearing you two talk about different bits and pieces, you just yeah. see, oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. So it reminds you and freshens up your toolbox so to speak oh so, yeah this woo, is great for getting good. the juices flowing absolutely yeah. well, thanks for yeah. sharing your tools with us on yes <laughs> yes thank you next time i'll drink whiskey and it'll yeah. be a whole different kind <laughs> of we will, do, we will do an r-rated version this of this show i promise that now. Now. apple juice <laughs> that's it that's it awesome. thanks Lovely. everybody right, guys we will put thank the you. link down below to yes. the focus wheel to everything else that was talked about and oh that's right there will yeah. be links down below for on that thing you're doing, on, you know, on that on stuff. Channel, that stuff. Dan's channel. That's right. All other bits of weirdness will go down below as well. It's great. Well, this video is going to be across three channels. Three channels. <laughs> Prime time, folks. Which, by the way, no, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna tease this a little bit because Anya, I've talked about a, a little bit in Tarkon. I don't know. You got a good energy, man. We seem to vibe. But there's a way that we literally could do one meeting and we could all live stream simultaneously on our own channels. I think Fabulous. is that what we're doing right now? We're not live well, streaming. No, we're not live streaming. I what? know we're recording. Yeah, no. I Wait, Wait a minute. minute. No, but yeah, we could do that. <laughs> and that might that. be kind of fun. And we I could take actual awesome. questions from people. And so <sighs> I uh, think that would be fantastic. We're playing around with the idea, people out yeah. there, because you guys seem to enjoy us. Watch so. the comments on this. Guys, comments. Yeah. I know you're going to love that idea. They're gonna, yes, you love the idea. Throw, throw the yes, comments yes, in there. Yes, we yes, want to yes. see it. Yeah. Even if that's Absolutely. all you say, oh my God, I'd love to see you guys live at the same time. It'd be awesome. So that's right. And I'm going to put links to, well, most of my guys know you. So, you know. Do they? Yeah. I think so. Well, yeah. Everyone they know on yes. I, everyone knows on yes. Yeah, that's right. That's, we all know on yes. That's like the second <laughs> name you learn in any language is on yes. So. On yes. <laughs> knows it. Usually like mom. And then on, yes. on yes. I have an aunt named Agnes. Yeah, everyone does. Everyone Agnes. Does. Agnes. <laughs> Agnes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's the very you guys are both and it's like the ninety <laughs> name. It's like Dan, right? And it's like why? Why Dan. so long? I don't know, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's awesome. well, okay. it's the shortening. My mom complains that Americans shorten names all the time. What is that? Bye. Yeah, well, we can't handle isn't. it any longer than that. We our attention yeah. spans are about this this long. So if you're your full name is more than Danny. one syllable, <laughs> yeah, I'm falling asleep halfway through it. 
stop. That's right. It's recording. Bye. Okay. Buddy. All right. Bye bye. All right.